OceanGate, a well-known submersible business, was recently involved in an event that has sent shockwaves across the marine exploration sector. The sad disappearance of a tourist submarine run by OceanGate that was investigating the famous remains of the Titanic has resulted in the loss of life, which is a terrible tragedy. The growing catastrophe has thrown light on the severe repercussions that might occur as a result of disregarding essential risk management and safety practices. This essay intends to go deeper into the issues encountered by Ocean Gate's board of directors and investigate how a more rigorous approach to risk management and safety could have avoided this tragedy. In addition, this paper will look at how a more rigorous approach to risk management and safety may have prevented this disaster. We are able to gain useful insights from the Ocean Gate disaster if we investigate the issues raised by the whistleblower, the lack of attention paid to risk management, and the monitoring of safety measures. The Concerns of the Whistleblower in 2018, a whistleblower working at OceanGate expressed their worries over the submersible that the company employed and the possibility for it to be involved in mishaps. This employee recognized significant flaws in the safety procedures and drew attention to potential hazards that might compromise the health and safety of the crew members as well as the passengers. However, Rather of taking these concerns seriously, the whistleblower's employment was wrongfully terminated, which contributed to the further deterioration of a situation that was already in a precarious position. Avoiding Responsibility for Risk Management The terrible accident that took place at Ocean Gate illustrates the critical need of every responsible organization having an effective risk management strategy in place. Boards of directors are the ones who are responsible for ensuring that thorough risk assessments are carried out on a regular basis and that proper steps are put into place to reduce any risks that are detected. These responsibilities fall under the purview of the board of directors. It would appear that the board of directors of OceanGate did not place a sufficient amount of attention on this key component which eventually led to outcomes that were devastating. Nowhere else in the deep ocean can, can you get funding to go back every year for decades and see how coral reefs develop and see how, uh, how metals decay and see how currents change. I mean, that just, you, you can't justify that. If the board had established proactive risk management, they may have been able to address any safety issues and take the necessary actions to remedy the deficiencies in the system. It's possible that this required conducting comprehensive audits, obtaining the help of unbiased professionals, and building a culture that placed a high value on openness and responsibility. If these safety features had been implemented, it is feasible that the disaster that has taken place might have been prevented. This is something that cannot be ruled out. An examination of precautionary measures. Strong safety measures are the essential element of security in high-risk businesses like submersible exploration. However, OceanGate's inability to implement and strictly enforce rigorous safety standards has been a contributor to the ongoing catastrophe that we are experiencing. A sufficient safety procedure should involve extensive training for the members of the crew, routine maintenance of the equipment, and a strict adherence to the norms and standards of the industry. The disregard for safety procedures not only puts the lives of the crew members and passengers on the ocean gate at jeopardy, but also caused irreparable damage to the image of the firm. Vulnerabilities may have been detected and fixed prior to the occurrence of the catastrophe if there had been a commitment made to the implementation and enforcement of comprehensive safety rules in addition to regular safety audits. Understanding what we can learn from the Ocean Gate disaster. 
the Ocean Gate disaster serves as a sobering warning of the severe repercussions that might result from disregarding risk management and safety procedures. The lessons that can be gained from this disastrous incident need to be internalized by boards of directors, and they need to act immediately and proactively to prevent future events that are comparable to this one. To begin, it is essential to cultivate a culture that values open communication and encourages employees to report safety problems without making them fear reprisal. The contributions of whistleblowers must be taken seriously and swiftly acted upon if they are to play a vital role in detecting possible dangers. Whistleblowers can play a pivotal role in identifying potential risks. The way in which OceanGate dealt with the concerns raised by the whistleblower is a glaring illustration of how important it is for firms to appreciate and protect those employees who come forward to report possible hazards. Second, the establishment of an all-encompassing risk management structure needs to be an extremely high priority. In order to do this, regular risk assessments, proactive risk mitigation techniques, and constant monitoring are required. This will guarantee that all activities take place in a safe and secure environment. Potential dangers can be recognized and mitigated before they develop into catastrophes if the organization makes risk management an integral part of its basic decision-making processes. Last but not least, it is essential to develop stringent safety measures as well as to engage in regular training and the upkeep of equipment. The demonstration of a dedication to safeguarding the employees and preserving a favorable reputation may be shown in the prioritization of safety. It is possible to considerably lower the risk of being involved in an accident by having routine training sessions and equipment checks. This will also guarantee that crew members are adequately prepared to respond to any emergent situations. The Ocean Gate disaster serves as a jarring illustration of the disastrous outcomes that might result from disregarding risk management and safety procedures. It highlights how urgently necessary it is for boards of directors to prioritize risk management, implement thorough safety processes, and cultivate a culture of openness, responsibility, and continuous improvement. By drawing lessons from this sad tragedy, companies may strive toward preventing similar disasters in the future and ensuring the safety and well-being of their staff as well as the passengers on their vehicles. So, this was our video. Please subscribe to our channel for more regular updates. See you in the next video.